Okay, another optimization problem. Engineers are designing a box-shaped aquarium, so rectangular prism, think about box, with a square bottom. That is very important. Square bottom and an open top, also very important. That means one side of the box is missing. The aquarium must hold this much water, so 1,372 cubic feet of water. What dimension should they use to create an acceptable aquarium with the least amount of glass? So you're minimizing a dimension. So if you're minimizing a dimension, we need a formula that has, has dimensions involved. So we're not minimizing or maximizing volume, but let's draw the diagram of the situation. So, and again, not an artist, but here's kind of this lame aquarium. And it was hard for me to, to make it look exactly like the bottom was square. So I just drew these tick marks indicating that this side and this side are the same length. So length equals width. That means at one point we can substitute one for the other, and then you've got a height measurement. And it does give the volume 1,372 cubic feet. All right, so there's the, the volume formula is length times width times height. So for vo this volume formula, since length and width equal each other, we really could say volume is equal, since width is equal to length, we could say length times length times height, which is length squared times height, All right? And there's the surface area. Well, the surface area, remember surface area is just the area of each side. And there's one, two, two, a front and a back, that's two of the same side, a left and a right, and a top and a bottom. That should be six sides, but we're missing the top. So let's look at the top and the bottom first. Well, the bottom is length times width. Normally there would be two of them, but it's an open top, so length times width. And then we've got length times height. Well, that's the front and the back, so that's two of those sides, which is length times height. And then there's the left side and the right side, which is width times height. So there's two of those, the right side and the left side. But remember, length is equal to width. So instead of W there, we can put an L. Oh, and look it. Now we have an L times W. Oh, let's see. No, here we have an L times H, and now we have an L times H. Well, we can add those two things together. So we're going to do that on this side. So here's our diagram. That looks more squarish than what I did. Um, on the other screen. Here we have our surface area formula with the L and the W's, uh, the W's being swapped for the L's. Um, and then I'm going to simplify because now those two things can be added together. So it's 4L, but now we have to ha find a measurement for height. So if we come over here and we know that volume is 1372, is equal to length squared times height, we can just divide both sides by length squared. So now, instead of height, we can put in 1372 divided by L squared. And that's what I did right there. And I think, let's see, I always forget what I do on the second screen. Yeah, so I simplified that right here. Um, H is equal to 1372 uh, divided by length squared. So where that L was, I'm going to substitute, and now I'm going to do distributive. So when I multiply that, this L squared and that L, that L cancels, and that just leaves an L. And then when we do the distributive on that, we end up getting L squared plus uh, 5,488, and then I'm going to rewrite this instead of over L, L to the negative first power. Because remember, if L's in the denominator, you can rewrite it with a negative exponent. And now I'm going to find the derivative. So the derivative of the surface area, this is 2L, and then this is going to be... Um, 
negative 548, and then that would be L to the negative second, and we can rewrite it uh, back as L squared in the denominator. And now I'm going to set both sides equal to zero. And before I, I left out a step, what I did, I want these two to have the same denominator, so I'm going to multiply top and bottom by L squared. That gives me 2L cubed minus 5,488 all over L squared. But when I set this side equal to zero, I'm going to want to multiply both sides by L squared. Well, the L squared times zero just leaves zero. And then I can factor out a two. And that leaves L cubed subtract 2,744 then the L cubed would indicate, oh, we need to take the cube root of 2744. And when we do that, the cube root of 2744 is 14 feet. So if this length is 14 feet, that means this width is 14 feet. And then we can plug that 14 times 14 is 14 squared. Remember what h equals, 1372 divided by 14 squared. You simplify that, you get 7 feet. So our dimensions will be 14 feet by 14 feet by 7 feet. All right, a little bit complicated, but as long as you get the setup correct, the, the math of it, a little bit complicated, but not too bad.